Hello, this is Ole Hendrik Schelsta. In this brief tutorial, we are going to have a look at how I now and then add colors to an image in Lightroom. This image, image was shot in August and we had a few minutes of nice colors in the sky. The image is shot with an easy polarizer and we can see how the polarizer is, is affecting the sky, particularly in this area. When it comes to color work in Lightroom, I do not use the HSL sliders much. Simply because they may or very often cause the transition lines between colors which aren't very pleasing. Uh, that is if you push things too hard, of course. So uh, small adjustments works just fine. But if we push things too hard, we may get ugly transition lines between the colors. Uh, this is a raw file, so we want to restore colors as we perceive them at that moment or perhaps add a little extra color. Anyway, I prefer to go to the split toning section and if we click on this square, a new window opens. And we have this color picker. If I hold down my left mouse key, I can move this one into the image and pick colors. Uh, not, uh, the, the color picker works best in uh, when I, for instance, use the brush. I, I'll show you afterwards. Anyway, I'm adding some colors to the sky and just by moving this square around to find a color which works. What I just did washed out some of the blues in my sky and it's quite possible to restore those blues by going to camera calibration blue primary and push this one to the right and before and after so I have restored my blues and also we have a better color separation in the sky I also now and then add some colder colors to the shadows so I click on this one and add a, perhaps a little blue or whichever color you, you please there we are and we may also want to increase the vibrance to give an additional color pop To me, the blues in this area are a bit too strong. So we can of course go to the HSL sliders and take down the blues a little. Or we can pick the adjustment brush, reduce saturation, and sorry, and with a pretty low flow, brush out some of the colors here for the blues. This is better. 
Let's have a look before and after. And if we feel we have taken out too much blues, we can just adjust the separation slider and bring back some of the blues. I think that may work. Uh, concerning color picker, now I have my brush tool activated and we have this square. And uh, by pressing down the left mouse key, you can see how the square, the very little square is moving around inside the color table or whatever it is called in English. So we cannot do this in, for instance, uh, split toning, but when we use the other functions or options up here, we can use this color pick like that. So I will set it to zero. So that's a way of doing things. And when we are done, okay. We can also try to add a little more life to the sky by adding a graduated filter. I will just drag it down here I think double click on effect to put everything back to zero or default and now we can try to add a little clarity I will overdo it a little so you can see what's going on and when if I add clarity to the sky, it's also a good idea to add some noise reduction because clarity usually adds noise. Let's have a look what happened before and after. So we have achieved a more dramatic sky and better separation between the various tonal values in the sky. But it's not a good idea to overdo the clarity in, in when I'm doing what I'm doing now. Then I probably may <laughs> end up with an image that looks like an HDR image. And I really don't want to do that. Okay. And it's also quite possible to add... Uh, graduated filter for the let's see for this area here water something like that and perhaps try to add a color or warm Something like that. And uh, now this area is perhaps a bit too warm. So it is possible with the new Lightroom additions to go to the brush. while the graduate filter is activated click on erase and i will increase the flow and take out what we just did in the graduated filter when we added some warmth to mask it out here you see there is a minus minus on the brush before and after and done I could of course have brushed out some of the warmth on the boat as well but I think you get the idea 
All right, that was all. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Go out there with the camera and have some fun. Thank you.